Hello friends, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 28. Find the index of the first occurrence in a string. So we are given two strings, a needle and a haystack. So basically it means that we need to find the string needle in the string haystack. And we need to return the first occurrence of the needle in the haystack else we are going to return a minus one if we don't find the needle in the haystack. So now we have these two examples. Let's look at these two examples and see how we could solve these two. Um, okay, so we have these two examples. Now let's also look at our constraints. So our constraint says that the length of the haystack and both the needle, it could range from one until 10 to the power 4 but our constraint it doesn't say that uh, the length of the haystack should be greater than needle the length of the needle but um, by our logic we we know that for needle to be in the haystack the length of the haystack should be greater than the length of the needle right so that will be our h case so what's our h case is that if uh, length of the needle is less than a uh, should be less than length of the haystack but if it is greater than the haystack length then we are okay then we are going to return a minus one because we could not find our nil in our haystack because the haystack is maybe just only one string and one is only of length one and needle is of length two so we could definitely not find our haystack in the i mean our needle in the haystack right now let's look at these two example how we could solve this so what are we going to do is we are going to use a sliding window for this problem um so we are going to take two pointers um one starting at index zero and the next one also starting at index zero of our haystack and the next starting at index zero of our needle. So what are we going to do is uh, index i will represent the beginning of our window and index k will move as move along with index j if both of the uh, values of index k and j are equal so now let's check our values of index k and index j equal well of course k is pointing to value s and j is pointing to character s right so since both of them are equal what we do is we increment both these values uh, value of index a uh, value of index k and value of index j now j is pointing to value a k is also pointing to value a so what we do is we increment both of them again now again both of them are pointing to the same character right i mean the value of the character is equal so we increment both of them again now j has exceeded the bound right exceeded the bound which means that now j is equals to the length of the string needle and um at that point we know that we have found our needle in the haystack so this will be our criteria to know that needle is in the haystack so what was that is if um needle at index j is equals to a stack at index k so while this was equal what we did is we kept on increasing both the values of k and the values of j right and we kept on increasing until and unless j was out of bound that is j was equals to the length of the needle all right if that was the case um, then we know that we found our needle so we are going to return the index i because i represents the start of our um, needle in the haystack right the first occurrence so we found our needle in this case now let's look at a different example so i'm just going to modify this example here and start from the first again so 
both of our indices will now be pointing to index 0 because this is like the first beginning of our computation. So we look at the values of k and j and both of them are equal to increment both of the values according to this algorithm here. And then again, both of them are again equal, so we are going to increment both the values. Now, we look at the value of k, which is equals to b, and j is equals to d. Both of them are not equal, right? So, since they are, they are not equal, we need to reset the values, we, because we know that now, um, this is sad, and this is sad, and they are not equal, so we, we are not able to find the needle at index i. So we are going to increment the value of i and we are going to reset the value of k and j. So j will again point to the beginning of our needle and k will point to the in the value that is pointed by index i. So basically k will be equals to i. So if our condition is that if needle at index i is not equals to haystack at index, okay needle is actually at index j not equals to haystack at index k then um, our i will be increased and k will point to the value of i and j will be reset to zero and now we again start our window so basically we are again looking for our needle that is sad starting from the character pointed by uh, I so basically we are looking at this and we know that this is not equal right just by looking at index the value at index k and the value at index j since both of them are not equal what we do we increment the value of i and then we equal the value uh, the index k to i and then reset the value of j which is already pointing at index zero so this is what we are going to do here and again both of them are not equal so i plus plus k equals to i and j to index zero again again they are not equals so i plus plus k equals to i and j equals to zero again they're not equals so we increment these values and then k j is equals to zero now i is um, a value at index k is equals to the value at index j here right so what we do we follow this Again. so while they are equal so we increment our value of k we increment the value of j and then we check the value they are again equal we increment both of these values and they're again equal so we increment both of these values and now we know that j has exceeded the bound so we found our result and then we return our result so what if in the case um, where we had something like this here so i'll just start from this value here so basically we don't have the last character so our i is pointing to s k is also pointing to i and j is reset to j so if this is the case basically what i did is we were we had this condition right we reached our end case here where we had our j and k both out of bound now we are just going back and i equals to k and i'm just going to delete this character so our haystack is only this string and needle is this string now um let's check j is equals to k so both of these values are equal we increment them again they are equal we increment both of these values now k went out of bound right so we can find the value of k so what happened is um since k went out of bound that means that we cannot find our Uh, we uh, we cannot find our needle in the haystack because for our needle to be found this would be at least length 3 and starting from i it is only of length 2 until the end right so that would mean that we cannot find our haystack and we would return a minus 1 so if 
k is equal to haystack dot length then we are going to return a minus one here all right so this is basically what our algorithm will be like so it's basically the almost the code that we need so now let's try to code it so we start from an index zero for all the values right j i and k both all of them will be zero initially so now while i is less than hey stack that length so what we do is we check right we check the values of um value i index i and index k so if both of them are equal so what we we go into a while loop so while they are equals so i'm just going to copy this because that's the code we need so while they are equal we are just going to increment the values of i j values of k and we are also going to check for our cases all right and if in case needle at index j is not equal to haystack at index k if that is the case then we reset the value of k and j all right so this is what we do okay and this whole thing will be within our while loop while i is less than hey length okay so this will go inside this while loop okay what just happened all right and at the end also we are going to return a minus one why because what if um there were none no match at all let's take an example suppose we had the string lead code and a string none so this is our haystack and this is our nil so since we are not going to find none in any of these because the first character at in of and of our needle and the first character and any of these characters and is not found in any of these characters right so that would mean that we would end up not finding it and at the end we are going to return a minus one now let's try to run our code and look at the solution the result all right let's submit it cool so let's look at the time complexity of this solution so since we are um going over a while loop for our haystack and each time we are incrementing the value of i right so that would be o if we that would be o of n if n is the length of the haystack and we are also incrementing we are also going over the while loop within the while loop where this while loop is basically um, the length of the nil so that would basically mean um, the total time complexity would be o of n times m where n is the length of a stack m is the length of the nil and space complexity is constant